Hello, 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 and welcome to the Start Your Business, Change Your Life podcast. I'm now from womenforchange.info, where we help women start and grow their businesses online. Um, This podcast is going to be the first in a series about blogging, Um, how to start your blog, grow your blog, and monetize your blog. I truly, truly believe that, um, you know, starting a business can help change your life and as a pathway to that, I believe that starting a blog can change your life and I believe it so much so that I wrote an ebook guide for anybody out there to be able to go from having nothing to having a, a blog Uh, an active live blog out there that is um, getting traffic and ready to be monetized. Um, I called it Start Your Blog, Change Your Life because starting a blog can literally change your life. If you um, follow me on Instagram or if you don't, you can head over to Women for Change info, all words, um, and there I try and post every day or every few days uh, a real person, a real woman in business who started her business from a blog. Um, there have been uh, people in fashion, people who are now, you know, in f- food, opening up their own delis, having their own lines of food, who have just come from starting a blog just you know either a few years ago or maybe five years ago or ten years ago but um the moral is that this this um little thing that can be free or very low cost to start with the right attention consistency and dedication can grow into something that is huge bigger than than anything that you may have, have thought you were able to do and you can do it from home um sometimes people ask why just women and it's not like i don't work with men because i've definitely worked with men before i have men that are clients and male orientated clients but i have a specific passion to help women start and grow their businesses online because i feel like um as a society um kind of naturally swings in the favor of of men i don't know the statistics but i know that a lot of um men on the corporate ladder um are higher up there's the wage gap there's all these different things and i feel like uh women um stay at home moms and and wives can really create their own power or take back some of the power that they feel that they have lost or they don't have through creating their own business. It can help empower them, it can help feel like they're contributing to the home or it can help them feel like they have a little something of their own. So that is why I am passionate about that. You know, um, coming from a single mother myself, I saw how hard she worked but... um, it's not like a sad thing of how hard she worked she worked she's very proud she was able to provide for herself and her children and she loves working and I just feel like sometimes if there's people who are in the position who can't physically go out and work you are able to use the power of the internet to to create for yourself and it could be people who like I was mentioning, um, stay-at-home mums or wives or maybe people who are disabled or people who are in parts of the world where it's not as easy to just go out and get a job. So this is why I I created Women for Change and I do have the, the angle of and the passion of wanting to help women. So that was like a sidebar, but going back into what this podcast will be all about, as I said, it's going to be the first in a series um, about blogging, and if you do want to, um, if you do want to check out the "Start Your Blog, Change Your Life" ebook, you can go to bit.ly/wfc 
blog book with the WFC in caps and both B's in caps. Um, all the details will be in the show notes. Um, but you can check that out. And we offer the ebook um, for twenty nine dollars at the moment um, as a standalone price. And then I also thought, you know, what would help people even more? Um, an ebook is great and it's quick to to get and follow along and you can put things into action straight away but what would really help people so I created two additional packages Um, I created one package that is the ebook plus support so you get um, you get support email support from me and my team of WordPress specialists that will help you um, along the way as you are starting to set up your blog um, and grow and market and monetize. And then we have one additional package which I feel like is the best value package if you are ready right now. It's the ebook, it's the support and it's extended support from the previous package and it's set up so if you feel like hey I'm ready like I want I have my ideas in place or you know I just feel like I want to go technical it's kind of you know like a a barrier for me so if you feel like you know somebody um, setting up your blog would really help you and give you that boost to help you start your blog I would definitely go for that package because um you know we'll talk you through buying your domain name getting the hosting and then we'll set up uh the wordpress environment from for you and then you can take it from there of course you have our support if you buy that package so definitely check that out um so what I did um for this episode I posted on my instagram uh, a post for anybody who wanted to start a blog I know that you can feel stuck or you can have questions about growing or monetizing so I encouraged them to leave their questions under the post so that I could um, answer them in this podcast in this podcast no in this podcast <laughs> so what we will do is we'll go through and we'll answer those questions um and that will be the foundation for the series um so let's make a start okay so on instagram her name is tamara stab designs she says i know blog (laughs) no let's start again cut so on instagram we have tamara STA AB designs she says I know a blog is a huge commitment how many hours per week should an established blog cut so to start with we have LaShawn underscore NAY88 she says what advice would you give a newcomer so um, LaShawn, I don't know exactly how much of a newcomer you are, um, but for anybody out there who is in the same position, newcomer being just started your blog, um, I would definitely encourage you to create a plan. The biggest thing with blogging is you could get this burst of like energy and inspiration and oh my gosh I'm just gonna write blogs and so many blogs and I've written two and I'm gonna post two of them back to back today okay um then what happens next week or the week after you have to create a plan if you are taking it even semi-seriously and even for your own um, self your insanity it's just best to create a plan so if you feel like okay I feel like I can blog once a week then create a plan to release those blogs once a week now you may say okay but I have lots of time this week to create blogs and that is great sit down create those blogs but if you are using um, WordPress or any uh, platform I believe you uh, will be able to use the scheduling function so you can schedule your posts so you write a blog post you want to post it today that's great if you have another one you can write it but you can schedule it to go out the following week 
so that you are pacing things out and and creating some kind of um, routine for your readers to have and you might say well I just launched I don't have any readers it doesn't matter but you just have to act as if and it's good practice for yourself you know act as if you have 500 people a day that are coming to your blog and waiting to read what it is that you that you've written so create a plan is one and use the scheduling feature if you have um, like clusters of time that you're able to create your content Um, the third thing I would say is is just be consistent and it goes in hand with the previous two that I said consistency is the key Um, and being consistent means not giving up there are going to be times when you look at your stats and you think, oh, four people read this, five people read this, but everybody basically started in that same place. You have to give life to to your blog and you have to, um, you know, be consistent. You have to post and you have to put your material out there for people to read. So that's the advice I would give to a newcomer. The next question is... I know a blog is a huge commitment. How many hours per week should an established blog, in brackets, I'm a newbie to monetizing, be committed? So basically she's saying um, she's an established blog, it's a commitment. How many hours per week should an established blog be committing? Well that's really difficult to say because I'm not sure if you're a full-time blogger or a part-time blogger um and uh I would always also like to add that it's not really about how much time you're putting into blog per se because you could have you could write 10 blog posts a week that the content isn't good and it's like is not going to attract attract any clicks from Google. It's a waste of time. It'll be much better to write one amazing blog post a month that's like 3,000 words or 2,000 words that you know is going to engage and attract people to your blog than spend so much time writing um, articles that, or whatever it is that you're going to be writing that, that aren't that good a quality. So I would love if you could focus on the quality of your blog and you know how much your audience likes to consume. If you're a celebrity blogger, yes, you have to blog lots of times per day uh, and you have to be on your toes. Um, for example, if you know that uh, a Kanye West just was submitted into hospital, you you can't just be writing about it the week after because people aren't going to come to you to consume that gossip if you are late you have to be on your toes you have to be blogging probably I would say three to five times a day depending on what you know on what on what uh on how much time you have to give that's if you're doing something like celebrity blogging but if you're a food blogger and you're putting out a new recipe you could just do one good, amazing uh, write-up a week that has great visuals and just... It is really about the um, effort that you put into it and the quality of it rather than the time. Now, what I would say is you do want to put time into promoting your stuff. So you have your blog there, but you need to put time into making sure that people on... Uh, Facebook are seeing it, Twitter, Pinterest and Instagram. So there's the actual blog writing and then there's the marketing side. Lots of people when they get into business on any level uh, tend to forget about the marketing side and the marketing investment. So if you do, if you are writing one blog post a week, tweeting one link when it posts is not good enough at all. You have to be retweeting that post uh, lots of times a week, a day. Um, And then you also need to be posting about that post on 
on Instagram, you need to make sure you're pinning it on Pinterest and Facebook, uh, you know, posting it on Facebook. The different platforms uh, have different um, frequencies of, of how much you should be posting. For example, Twitter is very busy. The stream goes by very quickly. So there you can post the same blog uh, snippet or link a few times a day you wouldn't get away with doing that on Instagram for example so that is something that you have to sit down create a plan and think about Um, the next question is hello yes I have a blog but I'm not sure how to spread the word okay So I did click to the person's page and she does have a link in her bio. But her bio on Instagram doesn't kind of direct you to what you would be clicking on. So if you want to spread the word about your blog um, and you are on Instagram or any other social media platform, which you should be, you need to make sure that your bio um, is telling a little something about you but also about the uh what you're about what is the link I'm going to be clicking on why would I click on this link I don't know what it's going to do what it's going to take me to uh people need a call to action I know call to action is a marketing term sometimes people think marketing can be a bit sleazy but don't think of it like that. People need direction. It's a busy place. Social media platforms are a busy place and there's beautiful pictures everywhere. So you need to be giving people a call to action, a direction. Tell people what to do. Click on this link. My blog about such and such. Want to find out about such and such? Click the link below. People need direction. So that's one way that you can get the word out. Another way that you can get the word out is a um, couple of things. Making sure that your blog is SEO friendly. And I know people might be SEO, like, what are you talking about right now? I just want to blog. Um, I do have uh, a webinar that I do run. I do run it like once a month. So head on over to my Instagram page, Women for Change Info, um, and follow me because that's normally where I post it straight away and if you're a part of my list then you also get notified so you can sign up for that too and I go over the five ways to boost traffic to your website it's um it's a webinar that's usually around 30 minutes to an hour depending on um on how I'm feeling that day (laughs) but it just gives you five ways that you can make sure that you're doing the best that you can for your website without being like you know some kind of SEO guru so definitely check that out you need to make sure your blog is SEO friendly that means um, searchable by Google because ultimately most people use Google Um, and searchable by the other platforms I shouldn't leave them out Um, so that's why make sure your website is SEO friendly make sure that your bios on your social media platforms are directing people to do something to go and visit that blog and that page make sure that you are promoting your particular um, blog posts on (laughs) make sure you are posting your particular blog posts on on your social media platforms if you are on Instagram make sure you're you create an image for your blog post and tell people to go and check it out you know change the link in the bio and tell people to check out that particular link um tweet about it like I said several times you need to tweet because Twitter is so busy you need to tweet multiple times for people to be able to see it you can also um consider putting some money behind it on Facebook ads and I'm talking about you can invest as little as five dollars behind your post and people like people get agitated like well why do we have to pay now guys it is a business um I know they started out for free but you know nobody's not in anything for free um unless they're a non-profit business and sometimes even they aren't so Look, instead of looking at, oh, why do we have to pay now? Look at the benefits. Look at 
okay, I can put $5 behind this blog post and I am, you know, I am a, a, a blogger who blogs about uh, food juicing. So I can go in Facebook ads and I can target people who are reading similar blogs to mine um, in this age group, in the location that I want. It's like being able to have access to the ideal people that you want to read your blog for five dollars minimum. It's it's amazing. Um, I have a blog post as well that does give you a um, five minute guide to to um, to create in and setting up your fav- your Facebook ad in five minutes. I'll put the link in the show notes. Um, it's also on my Instagram as well. So check that out. So basically this whole blogging thing and getting your word out there it's not static there is no post it once and leave it the magical fairies will come and and it will go viral and people will find out no it's you have to always be actively promoting actively putting yourself out there um i think that is all from the beginning questions and I think that's a good roundup of, you know, the foundations of giving you an idea what you do have to put into into blogging. I don't want to scare anybody with the whole promotional aspect of it if you are a starting blogger, but it is a reality. You do have to be active and put in put in the words out there. But the good thing is you don't have to be sitting there uh when it comes to promoting on Facebook and Twitter um in real time. There are tools and and platforms that you can use to um, automate and schedule these posts too. Um, I have a blog post coming up about my um, favourite, my favourite business hacks of 2016, so keep a lookout for that. Um, And yeah, this has been great. I love sharing everything that I I have to uh, give about blogging and business, so as a roundup, you can find me at womenforchange.info or you can um, talk to me over on Instagram, womenforchangeinfo or email me, nell at womenforchange.info. I do answer emails and I do check them regularly so you will hear back from me if you do email me. Um, it's been great, 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 great session again and I look forward to the next session in the blogging series. Have a great day. Bye.